10, 10 out of 10 designer fragrances. It's 11 because there's an honorable mention. <laughs> Still going to be a good list. Let's go. What's going on YouTube? I am Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, I hope you won't mind subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. That way, when I upload new content on YouTube, you'll get notified. Now on today's video, I'm going to be dropping 10, 10 out of 10 designer fragrances. Well, I actually have 11 because I have one honorable mention. And I'm going to get into what that honorable mention is in just a second. But if you love designer fragrances and you're looking for some, at least in my opinion, that are absolute great fragrances, again, ones that I rated 10 out of 10, then this is going to be the list for you. And you're not going to see a lot of the usual suspects on this particular list because I did a video a few weeks back where I talked about my 10 designer fragrances for life. So I did not include any of those 10 fragrances on this list because, well, I've already talked about them recently. Because the truth of the matter is, if I could have you know, more than just 10 designer fragrances. Outside of those 10, there are others in my collection that I feel are just as good as the ones that I mentioned in that video. So no, you're not gonna see One Million Privé, you're not gonna see Noir Extreme, you're not gonna see Dior Sauvage, Bleu de Chanel Parfum. I got some other ones that I want you guys to check out. So if you wanna see what's on my list, then you know the routine. Keep it locked. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into the video for today. Before I give you my top 10 fragrances, well, my top 11 on this list, I want to remind you guys to check out my fragrances over at NobelistParfums.com. I have five fragrances in total that I've done with the brand, and I think they're still running that discounted sale where you buy one, you get 25% off, two, I think it's 30 or 35, so forth and so on. If you end up buying six or more, you're going to get over 50% off the total. So anyway, head over to NovelistParfums.com and support your boy. Check out my fragrances. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the first one. Now, this is kind of number 11 or an honorable mention and that's just because I haven't had this fragrance for as long as I've had the others, but I will tell you that I'm pretty certain that this fragrance deserves to be on a list like this and it's from the house of YSL and this is La Nuit de Long Blue Electrique. And here is the bottle. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about this fragrance very glowingly, and <laughs> I can see why. Um, I actually got this fragrance from a friend of mine uh, in kind of like a swap. Uh, it was one that I was looking at trying to purchase, and um, you know, just so having it came up in conversation, and he sent this to me. So, Ryan, I appreciate you, my guy. This fragrance, man, listen, it has everything that you like from the original. Line Weed Alone. Now, if you guys are like me, I start to get kind of confused and crossed up between Line Weed Alone and then we have the other one, the other flanker. <laughs> has a whole list of flankers. You have Line Weed Alone and then you have the other ones as well. There's another blue fragrance that I like to talk about as well. But anyway, I start to get crossed up. There's so many Line Weed Alone or Loam uh, flankers. So you have Line Weed Alone, you have Loam. So you have the Loam blue fragrance that I love, but this is Line Weed Alone. Blue Electrique, and this is Dynamite. Main difference between this and the original Lion Weed Alone is this one, of course, has a blue feel to it, but it's really just because it's more of a, a little bit more of a fresh version of the original. It still has the cardamom and the lavender in there, but they added some ginger uh, in this one as well, and geranium, and oh my God, it is so good. This is a compliment magnet. I have worn it out two times since I've had it, and both times I've gotten multiple compliments. So anyway, if you can find it, I heard it's been discontinued, I don't know. Put it in your life, man. It's from the house of YSL, and this is Lanwe Delon Blue Electric. All right, guys, the next fragrance that I give a perfect 10 out of 10 rating to is from the house of Prada, and this is Prada Loam Intense. Now, I've heard that this one has been discontinued as well. 
Um, and from all indications, what I've been able to see, I'm pretty sure that it has been discontinued. But you can't find, you can still find bottles of this out there. Just get it. It's it is good. If you like the original one, you're gonna love this one because this one performs even better than the original. Uh, the primary difference between the original and this is I get more of that of that leather in this. Um, it kind of is like if you took the original Prada along with that powdery vibe that comes from the iris that a lot of people love and you put a little bit of ombre leather from Tom Ford in there. That's kind of sort of what this smells like because of the, uh, the leather is amped up in this one. So again, amazing fragrance. One of my best performing designer fragrances. So it smells great. And then of course it doesn't hurt that it is a great performer. You're gonna wanna smell this fragrance on your skin for as long as it lasts. So definitely a 10 out of 10 in my humble opinion. This one is from the house of Prada. And again, this is called Prada Lone Intense. All right guys, the next fragrance up on my list of perfect 10 out of 10 designer fragrances comes from the house of Burberry. And this one is called Burberry London. Burberry London, man, I got this fragrance a long time ago, uh, probably about hmm, five or six years ago now. Picked up this fragrance, actually got a tester so it doesn't have a, a cap on it, and um, was blown away, man. This, is, this particular fragrance started uh, my love and fair and appreciation uh, for the note of cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon, I would say, is the main note in Burberry London, but it has this really nice uh, floral uh, mimosa in here that kind of gives this, I don't know, man, kinda, the mimosa kind of gives a slight powdery vibe to this fragrance. So you got the cinnamon, you have the mimosa uh, in this as well, and a little hint of, slight hint of tobacco in the background. Amazing fragrance. When you talk about uh, fragrances, especially around the holiday season, primarily Christmas time, this is like the signature Christmas fragrance. Everything from the signature Burberry, um, of course, pattern on the bottle uh, to the notes in it to the, you know, everything about it just kind of screams holiday season. I love this fragrance. Easy 10 out of 10 in my opinion. So check it out, guys. This is from the house of Burberry and this is Burberry London. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Christian Dior and this is Dior Own Parfum. Now, this is the original OG stuff. This is not that new stuff. I don't know if the new stuff compares to this at all. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter to me because I actually have this in my collection and I'm thankful for it. Uh, of course, you guys know that the this particular brand and this line kind of came out with some newer, I guess, iterations of all the fragrances from the Dior own line. And uh, like I said, I don't know if this kind of stacks up, but the new one stacks up to this one, but this is an amazing. It has everything you love about the original DR Ohm uh, Intense, except again, another fragrance where you have a very uh, amped up uh, note of leather. And that's really the difference to me between DR Ohm Intense and DR Ohm Parfum. All right, so check it out, man. Definitely a masterpiece, definitely a 10 out of 10. I got about, I don't know, about 60% left of this bottle and I'm gonna cherish it because Honestly, I don't want to spend another three or four hundred dollars or whatever it is they're trying to charge now uh, for this fragrance. So anyway, glad I have mine. Hopefully you can get yours if you don't have it already from the house of Christian Dior. This is the Dior Own Parfum. All right, guys, and the next fragrance on the list that I'm giving a perfect 10 out of 10 to is from the house of Mugler, and this is Pure Malt. Pure Malt, which is uh, turning into the theme of this video, another one that is said to be discontinued, and I am assuming from uh, everything I've seen it is. That's not to say that maybe, you know, this won't come back someday. I mean, I don't know if somebody's gonna kind of take over creative control. Of course, we know the original creator of these fragrances passed away um, here recently, a few months ago. Uh, maybe about a year ago now, if I'm not mistaken. And um, but this is he's done some masterful fragrances from this line, the Amen line, and this is one of them. You guys know how much I love Pure Havan. That has not changed, but this to me has always been a close second to Pure Havan. Uh, you have that whiskey in here, and of course the patchouli. That's really what you're gonna get with this fragrance. It's freaking dynamite. And I got about I don't know, maybe about 70% left in this bottle. Check that out. You know, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I got enough fragrances where I can wear this sparingly and it can last me for a while. So 
I love it, man. Put your nose on it if you never have. You know, uh, this is a amazing fragrance, amazing, an amazing boozy fragrance. So check it out from the house of Mugler. This is pure malt. All right, guys, and the next fragrance up on the list comes from the house of Valentino, and this one is called Valentino Uomo Intense. And yeah, this is another one that has kind of had that, um, that's been discontinued, unfortunately. But man, this is so good. This is gonna kind of put you in the mindset of Dior Homme Intense, honestly, but this is a little bit different. To me, this, this profile is a little bit sweeter. And that's probably because of the tonka bean in here. So a little bit sweeter, you have tonka bean, you have vanilla, leather, and of course the iris. But, you know, again, powerful fragrance, very reminiscent of the Dior Homme uh, fragrances, especially Dior Homme Intense. But again, this, this one does something that's a little bit different from Dior Homme Intense. And I do like that, that, that a little bit added sweetness that the tonka, tonka bean gives to this fragrance. So check it out, man. Uh, it may be a little bit harder to find now, but if you can, it's a stunner. This one is from the house of Valentino, and this is Valentino Uomo Intense. All right, guys, and the next fragrance up on my list that I give a perfect 10 out of 10 Two is from the house of Azaro, and this is Azaro Wanted by Night. Azaro's Wanted by Night. Now, there have been a lot of fragrances that have been released, a lot of flankers from the original Azaro uh, Wanted. I'm not even going to try to run through them because I get all crossed up as far as the names Wanted by Night, the Most Wanted, uh, the, you know, X-Con. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't get it. But if you do come up with that idea, you know, make sure I get my credit, Azaro, y'all, something, the X kind. And y'all get it, the most wanted, the X kind. Never mind. <laughs> but this is an amazing fragrance, guys. Cinnamon, tobacco, leather, uh, iso -E Super is in here. Vanilla is in here. I mean, a little bit of cumin is in here as well, but amazing fragrance. And again, you talk about uh, fragrances that have uh, that give great performance, you gotta talk about this fragrance. This one is kind of up there with Prada Loam Intense as it relates to performance. This thing, I get great performance out of this. And it's just one of those things, man, it projects, it performs, it smells great. You know, that cinnamon tobacco thing in here is just, it's just killer. So I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. And I know there's a lot of people out there that agree with that sentiment. From the house of Azaro, this is Azaro, Wanted by Night. All right, guys, and the next fragrance up on uh, this list for me comes from the House of Prada again, but this is from the Lunarosa line, and this is Prada Lunarosa Black. Prada Lunarosa Black. Man, this thing is so good. There are so many good fragrances from the Lunarosa line, and this is one of the best. And that's really saying something because I really, from what I can recall, really love all the fragrances from the Lunarosa line. I love Carbon. I love the, even the sport version. I love carbon. I mean, I love them all, you know, and uh, this is no different. Prada Lunarosa Black. Really what you're going to get with this fragrance, guys, is amber. You get amber. You have some coumarin in here as well. And the coumarin comes off uh, and give this uh, slight sweet hint to this fragrance that combines with that amber. So it's kind of this vanilla tonka kind of feel to this fragrance that you get from the coumarin and the amber accord uh, in this fragrance and a slight, slight hint of musk as well, but it's dynamite. Again, you take your pick from the Prada Lunarosa line and I don't really think it could go wrong, but you're definitely not gonna go wrong if this one is your choice. Easy 10 out of 10 design fragrance in my humble opinion from the house of Prada. This is Prada Lunarosa Black. All right guys, and the next fragrance up on the list actually comes from the house of Guerlain and this is Lone Ideal EDP. Long Ideal EDP. Oh man, this thing right here, man. That whole line as well of Guerlain fragrances is really, really good. And this is another fragrance where the note of leather to me took a fragrance DNA to the next level. I love the EDT version of this fragrance because you get that cherry almond thing. And you get the same thing with this, but of course, like I just said, this one, they added some leather to the composition. And again, to me, that just kind of enhanced that DNA, gave it a little bit more depth and creativity, and it actually helped to increase the performance from the original EDT version of this fragrance. This is amazing, guys. How can you go wrong with cherry, 
almond and leather. Well, you can't. So check this out. If you can still find this one, man, from the House of Guerlain, this is Loam Ideal Eau de Parfum. All right, guys, and the next fragrance on the list, this one actually comes from the house of Mason Margiela, and this one is called Jazz Club. Jazz Club. Man, this thing is phenomenal, man. There's so many fragrances, good fragrances from the, the replica line of fragrances, of course, by the fireplace, although I think that was on my 10th um, life, so that's why I didn't put it on here. But, yeah, man, Jazz Club. Jazz Club, man, this is so good. It smells like the name indicates, you know, the namesake of the fragrance. It smells like a jazz club you have the tobacco in here you have some sweetness that comes from uh vanilla and of course you have a a slight booziness that comes from a an accord of rum in here as well everything that you would imagine to kind of smell if you were to walk into a jazz club and this stuff is absolutely fantastic one of my favorite designer fragrances definitely top two from the replica range of fragrances we buy the fireplace this is just as good. So check this one out, guys. Again, this is called Jazz Club. All right, guys, and last but not least on the list today, this fragrance actually comes from the house of Giorgio Armani, and this is Armani Code Profumo. Armani Code Profumo. Of course, you know what the theme of the list is, guys. 10 out of 10 fragrance. It took me a while to add this to the collection, but I did, and I'm so happy I added this to, to my collection. This is some good stuff, man. There's so many other flankers. This is another one of those fragrances that has uh, a lot of flankers in this uh, line from the uh, Code line. But this was one of the best. It's probably the best to me. Even with all of some of the good, um, really good ones that's been done here recently, this is still the best in my opinion. <sighs> amber. Amber. That's the main thing I get with this. You get amber uh, in this fragrance. And again, it is amazing. You got that green apple. Uh, and cardamom combination in the top with a nice kind of sweet ambery kind of dry down oh my gosh. man get this in your life man if you don't have this yet don't be like me and wait a long time to add this one to your collection because it is masterfully done so check it out from the house of Giorgio Armani this is called Armani Cold Perfume hey but that's it guys that's my time I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 10 well 11 10 out of 10 of designer fragrances in my collection. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you guys take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or may even find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren, I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell Amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you 